infinite geometric series. Aloha! This is again Ms. Espy and I am here to teach you more about infinite geometric series. In this lesson, there are applications that will help you evaluate the sum of infinite number of terms in a geometric sequence. The sum of this infinite geometric sequence will boost a theoretical physicist to make a scientific breakthrough. So, let us enjoy the scenic view while we are learning. Let's go! When we say infinite geometric series, it is the indicated sum of an infinite geometric sequence. For example, 1 half plus 1 fourth plus 1 eighth and so on. What happens to the sum of this geometric sequence? 5 plus 5 over 2 plus 5 over 4 plus 5 over 8 and so on as n increases. To answer this question, we use the formula for finite sum and we write it in a convenient way. So we have S sub n is equal to A sub 1 times the quantity 1 minus r raised to n all over 1 minus r. By distributive property, we have A sub 1 times 1 is A sub 1. A sub 1 times negative r raised to n is negative A sub 1 r raised to n all over 1. 1 minus r. Now, let's write the given. We have the first term as 5 here. And then the ratio is the second term divided by the first term, which is 5 over 2 divided by 5. And it is simply 5 over 2 times the reciprocal of 5 over 1, which is 1 over 5. Pwede na natin i-cancel yung 5 dito. 5 divided by 5. Or pwede rin namang I-multiply natin numerator times numerator divided by denominator times denominator. So, if we're going to cancel that, we have what remains is 1 over 2. And then, if we are going to get S sub 2 or the sum of the two terms, so we have 5 as our first term minus... 5, again, the first term, times r, which is 1 half, raised to 2, which is the number of terms, since we are getting the sum of two terms, all over 1 minus the ratio is 1 half. And then we have s sub 2 is equal to 5 minus 5 times 1 half raised to 2, all over 1 minus 1 half is 1 half. yung ating previous solution dito para mas malaki yung ating screen. Again, we have S sub 2 is equal to 5 minus 5 times quantity 1 half squared all over 1 half. So, we have S sub 2 is equal to 5 minus 5 times 1 half squared times the reciprocal of 1 over 2 which is simply 2 or 2 over 1. And then we have S sub 2 is equal to 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times negative 5 is negative 10 times 1 half squared. And then we have 10 minus 10. 1 half is simply 0.5 squared. And if we are going to square 0.5 and multiply it by negative 10, we have negative 2.5. And if we are going to subtract it from 10, we have 10 minus 2.5 is equal to 7.5. Now, let us see if we are going to get S sub 3 or the sum of the three terms. We have 10 minus 10 times 1 half, but this time N is 3, so 1 half cube. And that is equal to 10 minus 10 times 0.5 cube will, will give us 10 minus 1.25. Again, how did we get negative 1.25? That is 0.5 cube times negative 10. And if we are going to subtract this, we have 10 minus 1.25, we have 8.75. Now, if we are going to get S sub 4, we have 10 minus 10 times 1 half raised to the 4th power, which is just equal to 10 minus 10 times 0.5 to the 4th power. 
and it is equal to 10 minus 0 0.625. Again, how did we get 0 0.625? That's 0 0.5 raised to the fourth power or apat na beses imo multiply yung 0 0.5, 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 times 0 0.5. And then we multiply it by negative 10. The answer is negative 0 0.625. If we are going to subtract it from 10, we have 9.375. Likewise, if we are going to get S sub 5, we have 10 minus 0 0.3125, which yields 9.6875. If we're going to get S sub 10, ganun din ang gagawin natin, we will get 9.9902343375. And then kapag itataas pa natin yung value ng N natin, like S sub 20, we have 10 minus 10 times 1 over 2 raised to the 20th power will give us 9.99999. Now, what have you noticed? Habang lumalaki yung ating number of, uh, number of terms, or as n increases, the sum gets closer and closer to 10. That is correct. Drive the formula for the infinite geometric series. We have the sum is equal to the first term plus the first term times the ratio plus the first term times the ratio twice, plus the first term times r cubed, and so on. Now, if we are going to multiply this one by r, we will arrive at s times r is rs, and then a sub 1 times r, we have a sub 1 r, a sub 1 r times r, we have a sub 1 r squared a sub 1 r squared times r, we have a sub 1 r cubed, and so on. Now, if we are going to subtract equation 2 from 1, we have s minus r s equals, remember, we have a sub 1 r minus a sub 1 r, magiging 0 na siya. Ganun din dito, a sub 1 r squared minus a sub 1 I r squared, cancel na rin. And so on. Ang matitira na lang sa atin ay a sub 1. Now, if we are going to factor out s here, we have s times the quantity 1 minus r. Pag chinect nyo, dapat pag minultiply s times 1 is s. And then s times negative r is negative rs. Equals a sub 1. Para makancel yung, yung 1 minus r, we have to divide both sides by 1 minus r. Ayan, cancel na. And what remains is S up to infinity is equal to A sub 1 all over 1 minus R. E mong bakit may, may infinity? Di ba nga ang ating hinahanap ay yung infinite, yung sum ng infinite geometric sequence. So meron siyang sum up to infinity. Now, going back dun sa example natin kanina, 5 plus 5 over 2 plus 5 over 4 plus 5 over 8 and so on, where our first term is 5 and the ratio is 1 half. So, gamitin ulit natin yan, di ba? Habang lumalaki yung ating n, it approaches 10, closer to closer to 10. So, let us check using our formula. So, sum up to infinity is equal to the first term all over 1 minus r. Palitan na natin yung mga values. So, sum is equal to, the first term is 5 over 1 minus, the ratio is 1 half. Now, we have 5 all over 1 minus 1 half is 1 half. So, sum up to infinity is equal to 5 times the reciprocal of 1 over 2 is 2 over 1 or simply 2 na lang. And then, 5 times 2 is 10. So, the sum up to infinity of that given sequence is 10.
Ayan. So, as n increases, it gets closer to closer, closer and closer to 10. One. Find the sum up to infinity of 1 plus 1 over 5 plus 1 over 25 and so on. Solution. Now, let us, let us write the given. The first term is 1. The ratio is the second term, ito yun, 1 fifth divided by 1 or the divided by the first term, which is simply equal to 1 over 5. And then, substituting this value, values from our formula, we have sum up to infinity is equal to, first term is 1 all over 1 minus, the ratio is 1 over 5. Now, remember, uh, meron siyang invisible denominator na 1, di ba? Ito yun. Hanapin natin yung LCD ng 1 tsaka 5. Ano yung number na po pwedeng i-divide sa 1 tsaka 5 which is equal to 5. Tapos, pag nakuha na natin yung ating LCD, divide natin sa denominator times natin sa numerator. Again, divide sa baba times sa taas. Divide times. So, 5 divided by the invisible 1 here is 5 times yung nasa taas na numerator na 1, which is 5. O, dito naman sa kanan. We have 5 divided by sa denominator na 5, which is 1, times yung nasa taas na negative 1, which is negative 1. Ulitin natin, ha? Yung LCD ng 1, invisible 1, tsaka 5 is 5. 5 divided by 1 times 1 is 5. Dito naman sa kanan, 5 divided by 5 times negative 1 is negative 1. Okay? And then we have S is equal to 1 all over 5 minus 1 is 4 over 5. S is equal to 1 times the reciprocal of our denominator 4 over 5. The reciprocal is 5 over 4. S is equal to simply 5 over 4. Example 2. Find the sum of 4, 12, 36, and so on if it exists. For the solution, let us first get the first term, which is equal to 4. And the ratio is equal to the second term divided by the first term, or 12 divided by 4, which is 3. Now remember, our formula of uh, sum up to infinity is equal to the first term over 1 minus r, but applies only if the ratio is less than 1. But in here, our ratio is 3, which means that it's greater than 1. Therefore, the sum of an infinite geometric sequence does not exist. Example 3. Find the sum up to infinity of 4, plus 4 over 3, plus 4 over 9, and so on. For our solution, let us get first the first term, which is 4. And the ratio is equal to the first, the second term, which is 4 over 3, this one, divided by the first term, which is 4. Now, we have 4 over 3 times the, recipro the reciprocal of 4, which is 1 fourth. And we may easily cancel 4 in the numerator and 4 in the denominator, which gives us 1 third. Or, we simply multiply numerator times numerator over denominator times denominator. So, we have 4 over 12 and the lowest term is 1 third. So, our ratio is 1 third. Now, by substitution with our formula, sum up to infinity is equal to the first term is 4 over 1 minus the ratio is 1 third. Sum up to infinity is equal to 4. And the LCD of 1, invisible 1, and 3 is 3. Now, we divide 3 by the denominator 1 times the numerator 1, which, which gives us a 3. Minus 1. And this negative 1 comes from 3 divided by 3 times negative 1. And then we have sum up to infinity is equal to 4. All over 3 minus 1 is 2 over 3. And then we have 4 times the reciprocal of 2 over 3, which is 3 over 2. And then we have 12 divided by 2, which is just equal to 6. 
or we simply cancel 2 and 4 here. Both can be divided by 2. 2 divided by 2 is just 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. And 2 times 3 is the same as 6. 4. If the common ratio of an infinite geometric series is 1 third and the sum is 36, find the second term. Now, ngayon, given naman yung common ratio and sum, ang nawawala ay yung second term. So, for the solution, the ratio is, right, it's 1 third and the sum is 36. Now, by substitution with our formula, the sum is 36 here equals, we don't have first term yet, all over 1 minus 1 third. So we have 36 is equal to a sub 1 all over LCD of 1 and 3 is 3 divided by the denominator times the numerator which is 3 and then 3 divided by the denominator 3 times negative 1 is negative 1. Therefore, we have 36 is equal to the first term all over 3 minus 1 is 2 over 3. And then by cross multiplication, we have 36 times 2 third equals the first term, or a sub 1. And then we can divide 36 and 3 by 3. So 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 36 divided by 3 is 12. What is left is 12 times 2, which is 24. That is our first term. Pero ang hinahanap natin ay ang second term. And to get the second term, we simply multiply the first term by the common ratio. So we have 24 times 1 third. And 24 divided by 3 is simply 8. Example 5. Find the ratio of an infinite geometric sequence if the first term is 4 and the sum is 5. Now, let us write the given. The first term is 4, the ratio is unknown, and the sum up to infinity is 5. By substituting with our formula, sum is 5 equals first term is 4 over 1 minus the ratio. And then we cross multiply. We have 5 times the quantity 1 minus r equals 4. By distributive property, we have... 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times negative r is negative 5r equals 4. And then let us transpose positive 4 to the left, giving us negative 4. And negative 5r to the right, giving us positive 5r. Then we have 5 minus 4 is 1 equals 5r. Dividing both sides by 5, we have the ratio is equal to 1 over 5. Did you learn something new today? I hope so. See you again next video lesson. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share my YouTube channel. Again, this is Ms. SP Ventura saying, Learning math is easy with Teacher SP. Aloha! Thanks for watching!